tonight's the big night. I'm ready to be 100% wolf. Just like you. Freddy Lupin, step into the light. <laughs> Let the wolfing begin. This is for you, Dad. Say hello to the big bad wolf. <laughs> A poodle. You have until moonrise tomorrow to prove you are a real wolf. Otherwise, you <laughs> will be banished. Who are you? Poodle. I'm not a poodle. Really? Labradoodle? Cavoodle? Spoodle? Whoa! Get away from my butt, weirdo! Wow. You can be cool! You can be shy! Let go of her! <laughs> Who for one deal? Put them in the pooch! Jeez, a lot. <laughs> Gets them every time. You monster. <laughs> the best wolves don't have the sharpest claws or the pointiest teeth. They have the biggest hearts. Uh, you can be cool. you can be shy. It's perfectly natural. Yes, I'm a boy. You can look now. Oh, whoa, oh, sweet mm -mm. mother of... Mm -hmm. ah. Hello everybody, and welcome to another movie review, this time on an oddity film that I saw released digitally not too long ago, I don't think, but um, I never saw this one in theaters, it's called 100% Wolf. Now, I'm a huge dog person, and when I watched the trailer for 100% Wolf, I thought of one of my favorite movies of last year, which some of my friends <laughs> make fun of. But uh, I have a review for it. Of course, I'll link it below. Because uh, this will probably be a kid-friendly video. So I probably won't be able to put cards and such in it. But I'll link it down below. The Queen's Corgi. Well, this movie is about uh, Freddie Lupin. who, And I'll, I'll just read the description to start off. Freddie Lupin can't wait to become a werewolf. Just like his legendary father. But when the big day arrives, something goes awry. And Freddie transforms into a ferocious... Poodle. Um, it, it's okay. <laughs> it's a good kids movie, but it's very, very predictable. Um, and let me just say, the the idea of werewolves in anything. Werewolves are not a topic that is covered in video games or movies very much. Recently, there was a video game called Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood, which I really liked. And, again, I liked it a lot. Excuse me, because you play as a person who can transform into both a wolf and a werewolf, actually. Um, and, obviously, this this movie's kind of doing the... It doesn't matter who you are, you can be powerful kind of mentality. Which is a good mentality to tell kids. So, in that aspect, it's a good movie to show your kids. Like, if you have kids. Or if you just want to watch it. <laughs> but it's also kind of disappointing for me in the aspect of wolves. We spend most of the movie away from werewolves. And we start at the beginning with werewolves and then a little bit throughout and toward the end. But most of the time it's either humans or dogs. And I think that's why it disappoints me a little bit is because... We don't have movies. We don't have really werewolf movies at all. I know there's older movies, but even kid-appropriate werewolf films or games. I mean, we just it's not a very used area. We don't have a lot to deal with werewolves. And I'm I'm a huge fan of wolves in general and dogs, of course. I'm not a huge poodle person myself. But um it just kind of disappoints me in that fact. Because he never turns... I'll just say it. This is a little bit of the spoiler, but it doesn't spoil the plot at all. I guess it kind of does, but it doesn't. I'm just going to say it. Be warned. You skip ahead if you don't want to hear it. But um, he never turns into a werewolf. Which, again, as I said, the mentality of the film. You can be whoever you are. You can be... I think the song in the credits was even something like Be Yourself or something. Uh, but, which I, I normally watch through the credits. But... The other thing is, one thing I like about this movie is it was an Australia-made film, I believe. So, 
is not made in the U.S. So, I mean, that's... That's one of the more beneficial things about this film is it's a foreign... It's not foreign, but it's a different film from a different country in which we got kind of like... Which also, I guess, is Queen's Corgi. Queen's Corgi, and sorry, I was I was turning off my controller. Sorry about that. Queen's Corgi was from England. Um, so that movie was not originated in the U.S., and neither is this movie. It just came over. Um, which I, I appreciate that fact. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that when Queen's Corgi came out, it was in theaters. I don't think this movie came to theaters at all. Not over here, at least. Or at least any theaters that I would have known or I would have gone to. Um, but it's not a very long movie, hour 36, TV PG, and, uh, the best news about this is if you don't want to spend any money, now, to just be honest, this this movie is cheap, it's very cheap, but if you don't want to spend any money, it's on Hulu, it's 100% on Hulu, so you can just, for now at least, again, if you're watching this a couple years down the line from its release date, if... The video is still up. A lot can happen in a couple of years. But if it's still up, um, or even a little while after, the movie may not be on Hulu anymore. Again, that's what that's with subscription services. They they add new things and take away things. I just happened to have Hulu, and I wanted to watch it. I might buy it to support the company. It's only like seven bucks, I think. It's very cheap. Six, yeah, eight. Okay, so six dollars for the SD version on Vudu, and eight dollars for the like HD version. There's no 4K version for this movie, but and on Vudu it has four thousand one hundred and fifty four reviews, which it also has four and a half stars. This movie is not a bad movie, not bad at all. But it's also again, I I kind of am looking at it from a different perspective. Now, also, I want to point out this movie is not. A family movie. I mean, it is, but it is a kids movie. I want to state that because on uh, on Queen's Corgi, that's not a kids movie. That's a family movie. This movie is a kids movie and family, so it's not gonna have any like jokes like the Queen's Corgi has. Um, just if you're aware, but that's why you need. That's why people should check out. Um, Wow, sorry. I'm just looking at now. Voodoo has a different description. I read the description I read was uh, Hulu's. Voodoo's is Disaster Strikes when young Freddy Lupin's first werewolf transformation turns him into a poodle instead. Oh, I mean, okay. There, and I think I think IMDb has something different too, which is interesting. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm definitely a uh, a person who suggests that you... If you buy discs, you read the the what it's rated for, or search up why it's rated PG, because some things PG wise are meant for families and not kids. And if you don't want your kids to watch it, then that's fine. But also, most kids won't get those jokes. The reason it's a family movie, uh, Queen's Corgi is, is so that parents can get jokes as well as the kids can enjoy the movie. That's, from my knowledge, the kind of idea. And I like this movie. For most of it. Uh, sorry, back to 100% where 100% wolf. <laughs> Which I guess I should have I should have kind of guessed from just the outright, but I was I, I guess I can't really judge the movie then based off of just what I was hoping for and what they gave, but I was a bit disappointed. Plus the villain is actually one of the werewolf pack um himself. I won't say who, so you can watch it and experience it for yourself. But the villain, which it, it is, you know, you have a bad apple in a bunch sometimes. And sometimes it's right in what you would call your family. Because uh, there's lots of different forms of family that people, you know, you know, you have very close friends. You have, you know, far off relatives. And a lot of times you can end up having a bad apple. Not just in family, just in general. But yeah, anyway. Um, I, I, so I'm not going to say who it is. I don't want to, I don't want to like ruin everything about the film. Um, but there's also kind of, it kind of is similar to the Queen's Corgi in a sense. Like feels like there's a, a standard formula 
for kids movies that involve dogs they they go to some sort of kind of penal pound type thing and queen's corgi and this one that happens um i don't know if it's just a a stated thing about kids wolf movies or wolf movies in general but you know um sorry i was getting that up but i mean it it's fun but when you have a concept dealing with wolves werewolves to be precise use the werewolves more you know and their designs i really like their designs for the werewolves i think that they're quite good i just feel like they need to up the werewolf more and there's a a line at the end where i think the freddy calls himself a were poodle at the toward the end of the film and <laughs> i don't know if i like that too much but i mean i do appreciate what they're trying to do it's it's a good thing to tell kids it's definitely a good message to spread to tell kids that they don't have to change who they are they can be who they are you know it's it's a very good it's a good message nonetheless but um i might buy the movie it's only again it's only what six eight dollars total so if you really want to buy it or even renting it renting it is uh four bucks max which again when the price for buying is just slightly higher than the price for rental like four additional dollars it's probably more worth it to buy it but again it's I will probably buy it at some point just because I like the movie. But right now it's on Hulu, so I have no reason to buy it. Um, but anyway, it's it's a good it's a good movie. I mean, I don't have too much else to say other than it kind of follows a similar formula to what I really liked about The Queen's Corgi, but in a way that I don't know if I liked. So anyway, give me one second. Okay, sorry. You probably, hopefully you didn't hear that beep. I'm back. <laughs> So yeah, for you, it was like instantaneous. For me, it was like a couple minutes. But anyway, um, I wanted to, I was thinking, I wanted to go a little bit more in depth. So I'll explain just kind of the, the basic, basically what the description says and also what the trailer shows. But I'll just describe it again. So as said in both descriptions I read and probably have seen in the trailer, Freddie Lupin is the son of the PAX leader. And at, I guess, a certain age, they don't really tell you, but at a certain age... He is supposed to become the the pack leader, and it's kind of like a thing where when they're when I guess when in this world when the wolves or kids are younger they're actual people, and then they step into the moonlight in a ceremony and become werewolves. So I don't know if in the movie it's their whatever their moon god I don't I don't quite remember moon spirit. Um, or if it's just in his DNA, but that doesn't make much sense because I think both his father and his mother were werewolves unless, because we didn't really see his mother. It's one of those things where the mother wasn't there from the start. Um, I'll, you can, you know, watch it. And the father supposedly dies in the movie. I'll leave it at that. So by this point, he's by himself and he has to, uh, once he turns into the poodle, he has 24 hours to prove that he's werewolf worthy or he'll be banished, basically. And that's the story. And he's trying to go back a, a get a, a ring of some sort from somebody. Uh, and this ring is, like, sacred, I guess, kind of. And I guess it also kind of senses werewolves, too. It's kind of complicated. I don't want to go too in-depth because I don't want to, you know, spoil stuff, but... It's it's a fun movie. If you can watch it again, it's only eight bucks. If you're interested, even if you want to rent it for just SD for three bucks, it's fine. But I mean, at, at this rate, I always buy everything in the highest quality, even if the device I'm watching it on can't have that quality. I have it. What I like about Voodoo as well, though, is for example, some movies don't have 4K versions. With Voodoo, I can get the 4k version if it ever releases or if i was stupid and i didn't get the 4k version before because i didn't have anything 4k um which now i do but yeah so i like voodoo a lot for that aspect like my like microsoft store and everywhere else once you buy it you can't actually like pay any more money to upgrade it to a higher quality 
and that's really annoying. So yeah. But anyway, sorry, that was a little bit of a side note. But it's oh, there's a fly. Of course, there's a fly. Why is there a fly? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, I like the movie, but unfortunately, I just wish there was more werewolf, in my personal opinion, because that's what I was kind of focusing on. I was like, okay, he needs to get back so he can become a werewolf. I was like, and like, I watched this in two intervals. I watched it a little bit last night from the time I'm recording this, which is 4-7-2021. And then I finished it just before I started recording this. And when I went to bed after watching the first sitting, I was like, oh no, this isn't going to be one of those movies where basically what I just said, where it's like, oh, you can be where whatever you want to be or you be proud of who you are. Not because I don't like that story, but because I really wanted him to become a werewolf. And personally, if I was him, I'd be very disappointed in becoming a poodle. Just saying. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with poodles, but when when you can be a big werewolf or poodle, personally, again, personal preferences, please don't get upset anyone, personal preferences, I would much rather be a werewolf. There's nothing wrong with dogs, I absolutely adore dogs, but I just think I've, again, I have a, a dog movie, I have the Queen's Corgi. That's my dog movie. 100% Wolf, I was hoping, would be my werewolf movie. Or at least my kid's werewolf movie. We don't have a lot of those or any of those for that matter. So, But anyway, it, it's still like a 9 out of 10 for me. It was enjoyable. And again, 4,154 reviews on Voodoo. Four and a half stars is, is pretty, pretty good. So, and on Hulu, I don't think it... Yeah, I don't think it uh, has any, like, uh, rating system on Hulu, so. Um, but, yeah. So, I'd recommend watching it if you if you want, of course. You don't have to, obviously. That's what this review is for. To, 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 for me to tell you what I think and for you to decide if you want to watch it or not. But, for an hour and a half film, I feel like this price is much more reasonable than most hour and a half films. Like, even if you look at Crudes, too, you know, and, and the big budget USA films that come out, you know. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to do it for this movie review. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>